Chief, uh, we're, we're ready to start. Uh, first of all, Chief asked me to record this, so I'm going to record this. I usually don't like to record these things because it's a big hassle for me, but I'm going to do it for Chief because uh, I guess they listen to us or something. Anyway, uh, uh, Chop Sauce here, Craig Meyer, David, Doru. Who's Doru? Who's Doru? Is that, can someone, can Doru speak? I got Eric the Solver, Glenn Woodward, and Perry uh, Hansen. I got some heavy hitters here. Uh, looking good. Uh, the reason why I started this uh, is because uh, uh, Larry Sweeney uh, posted something. Uh, now, if I can find it again, let's see. Uh, po posted a question about um, where do you find this? Show lower floors and floor, floor overviews. And it occurred to me that I hadn't been through these things in a long, long time. I thought it'd be neat if we could just kind of go through them really quick and just share share what you guys, what settings you guys have. I'll show you, show you what I have. And if someone else wants to take over, I can always turn this over to you guys. So if you have something to show. But it's really just to explore these default settings. Uh, is, is that okay with everybody? That's the purpose of this? Is that okay? Yes, sir. Perfect. Great. Yep. Sounds fine. Okay. So uh, for, for, let me start with this. Uh, let me start with this. This is the defaults up here up here general plan defaults and uh i if you guys disagree or i've got a better idea please say something but i have this unchecked warn before deleted objects and if you pull up your own computer you can set to see your own and just compare show pitches degrees no i think we always talk pitches and oh wait is that slope or pitch <laughs> we can talk about that later um uh, ignore casing for opening resize i have that checked i think that's uh so we can make the door opening as big as possible and then you won't stop. I think we all know that. Uh, I don't deal with home designer products. Arrow key, I don't, even, I don't even use my arrow key, so I don't care about that. I don't have this set. I guess I use snap grid units. Set at one quarter inch. I came up with one quarter inch because that's half of a, has half of one half inch and it just works. That's, that's what I do. I, I don't ever use my grid. I guess I do. Show grid snap? I don't think I show it. Oh, I don't. Uh, you know, I see so many plans where guys have both the um, the snap grid and the reference grid on, and it drives me crazy. I mean, do you really use it? Like, I, I, I use the snap grid. I've got it set to five millimeters, but I don't show it, and I certainly don't show the reference grid, but there's so many plans I see from users who have both of those on, and when you zoom in, it's just a mess. There's just too much grid. Yeah, I concur. I, I don't have mine on either. And, and then, why would you need a reference? Like, you know, reference grid to me is, I don't know, it's pretty useless. Yeah, I agree. Uh, living area to main layer. It's, I don't even use the living area. Well, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate the living area. It's useless to me. Anyway, so I just went over the uh, general plan defaults. I, I'm assuming no one had any comments about that. So now I'm going to go to those, were, those, by the way, for the, you guys that don't know, those... Those defaults I just went through are plan wide. If you open up a new plan, those defaults apply to that plan, to every plan. Every new plan, every plan you're already working on, that's what it applies to. Now, these are the default that's, settings, and these are plans. That's, that's the preferences, right? Preferences apply to everything. Yes, I'm sorry. Is, is that what I. Yeah. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Pre oh, well, no. General preferences. Plan. Yeah. Well, I, I'm on a Mac. This is different. Uh, this is yeah. Different. General plan. This is weird. Uh, preferences. Oh no! This is this is oh, okay. Now this is on every plan, new plans and everything. This is the preferences. I wasn't in preferences. What was I in? You I were was, in general plan default. defaults. Yeah. You, so we have general plan defaults. We have preferences, and then we have default. They're both. They're both apply to everything. I think. General plan defaults and uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. The default settings are saved with the plan. The preferences aren't. Yes, preferences yeah. usually have to do with the you know the way things look. The program. Uh, yeah. Whereas defaults are saved with the plan. Preferences are just safe for that session. Or oh, sorry, they're not no. saved with the plan. They don't. Oh, uh, they save in the they save the program itself. I think. Yes. Here's preferences, and these are saved with every plan, every new plan, and everything, right? Right, Glenn? That's what you just no. said. It's actually saved with the program. Yeah, saved, yeah they're not saved with the plan. Yes, with the program. That's how saved cheap 
handles in. Yeah, I mean, if, if I if I change any of these settings, it's going to change change all my settings for the rest of my plans. Correct for any new plan or any old plan. When you yes. open up when you open up Chief, those are the settings it goes by. Yes. And, and, and yes, and that's preferences, and that's what plan and, set, I think. There's, there's yeah. system settings as opposed to like plan settings, which um, are, are the default settings relate to. Right. These are also saved across the board as preferences are, correct? Yes, I think. These, uh, are, these aren't plan no, specific. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. They're safe with those default settings are safe with the plan. Really? Okay. Well, I never played with it, but someone says, Glenn says it's saved with a plan. Uh, so you're telling me if I change something here, it, 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 any plan I've worked on in the past will recognize this 12 inches. If I change it to six inches, the new plan is going to be recognizing six inches. Is that what you're telling me, Glenn? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, well, this is what I have on all. That, that, that's why uh, it's sort of you're changing. If you change these things in your template plan, then obviously they apply to every plan that you open. Yeah, but it's not retroactive. It's not retroactive. Who, who would care, cares about that stuff? I don't know. Preferences. Let's go to preferences. Let's go through this list right here. Appearance, contextual me menus. Uh, what was contextual menus? Um, is that the right click button? Yeah, the right click. And I think I used that. Uh, color. I don't yeah, is, is this boring stuff? Show no. Color? no. <laughs> Good. Uh, contextual menus. So that's the right click. If you right click, the contextual menus show up. I think that's right. what means. Uh, good. Uh, status bar. I, I, I show coordinates. Why do I show coordinates? Does the bottom know? status bar. Yeah, down here. I mean, does anybody look at this? I don't. <laughs> so why do I have it checked? Why don't I just, I don't know. I, I assume it takes up uh, memory or it's taxing my computer. Uh, do I want to show screen redraw time? No, that was probably left over from 30 years ago when they did this. Here's something. Show line weights. What do you guys have set on this? I always have them on. I want to see what I'm getting. And I has I have them on zero too because then you that's what you see is what you get. Right. Okay. Got it. That if, if I change this to ten, what happens is if I zoom way way out, that line's still going to show up. But if I have it at zero, it's going to be just almost can't see it. Correct. Correct. It's similar uh, to the setting down the bottom for um, dimension and labels. <laughs> That's down here. That's what you're talking about. Um, but if you zoom out, you won't see it on zero. Yeah. Uh, images and pictures display in color when possible. Oh, why don't I have that check? Should I have? Yeah. Should I have a check? Yeah, I check it. Yeah, I do. Okay. Menu show icons. Oh boy. Um, does, it, does anybody know what this you uh, does? Yeah. That's when you when you have a drop down menu, you get the see how you get the icons onto the left on the left hand side, and then the description. So that means what this is that what you're talking about? Yeah, see on the left there, you've got an icon next to every item. Oh, I got gotcha. it. Just unclick unclick it in preferences and see what happens to the menu. I got gotcha. you. Um, okay, preferences. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, done preferences is up by the way preferences for a Mac is under chief architect preferences for a PC for you guys is under file I believe so if you switch to a Mac uh, uh, Glenn you might want to remember that um, so if I if I uncheck show icons Actually, it's under edit not file okay all right there it is no icons no icons that's what that was all about so I go to preferences and uh, I turn it on. I done hurt me. Color off is black and white and gray. Now this is a real cool one. This is what Perry taught me. Uh, Perry, you want to explain this one? Okay, where where are we at? My phone was ringing. 
color off is either black or white or grayscale. Oh, I always, I always have grayscale. Yes, and, and what where is that set at? What does that affect? Well, you don't want black and white because then you wouldn't have uh, wall fills and, That's, and uh, stuff like that. What you're talking that. about is for printing, right? Yeah, but I, 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 I will turn the color off just to see how my uh, grayscale is looking because, you know, people don't print in color these days. It's too expensive. Well, I, I just I want to be real clear on this because uh, I'm not clear on it. Uh, well, I think I know, but I couldn't describe. I think I could describe it to you. Preferences. Well, um, if, if I if I un, if I check black and white. Okay. When and I then go turn and then go turn your color off, everything will be in black and white. Right. If I have color on, the gray scale will show. And if you guys don't understand that, what we're talking about is we come over here to print, and it's uh, uh, print in color. Print in color. Uh, right. If it's if well, uh, if I if I, I I never print color, so I get gray scale. So if I check I, it black and white, it would be in black and white. Is that what I'm saying? I always print in color, and when they print it, it goes into grayscale. <clears throat> really? Because color is grayscale, kind of, you know what I mean? I always print in color, and then when they print it, it's, it's grayscale. You know, I stopped doing that for some reason. So I, I do the uh, converting to color. I mean, I do the converting to black and white on my PDFs, so the print yeah. shop doesn't have it, but you expect the print shop to print black and white. Great. No, they, I, I tell them to print in grayscale. Well, okay, okay, gotcha. But when you, uh, if you, if you print in color, you can always turn off color on your side deal. You know, on your, uh, you can turn off color and see what it's going to look like in grayscale. So go to your plan, just show your plan, and take turn the color off with the little color icon here over on the side. I can see it. What, what, what do you want me to do? Oh, turn, turn the color off. off with your color icon. Now yeah, you'll okay. see you see grayscale. Oh, okay. And that's how it's going to print. Oh, so if, if I come over here to preferences and I do black and white, what am I going to get? Turn the color off and you'll get black and white. See? <clears throat> there's no, there's hey, no that's, what I, that's what I always do because I print in um, black and white. And I just like to see it more like it's going to print. What is more crisp? Have you ever tried printing in grayscale? It looks much better. No. Nah. As long as you've got your line weights heavy enough to where they'll show up. Right. Your line weights and your uh, – that's, that's how you check to see that, you know, everything's going to show up. But see, but see, Scott doesn't have any wall fills anymore because he turned the color off and it's all black and white. Right. I guess I'm very, I guess I'm very fortunate down here in Florida. I've got a printer that uh, my place I send my prints to will do 24 by 36 in color for a buck a sheet. Jeez. Oh, whoa! Oh. Uh, I'm moving to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so I switched about uh, two months ago, and everybody is just loving my prints. Oh my God! Yep. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why why our companies don't do that. My company tried to do it at one time. <clears throat> Actually, my contractor just bought a color uh, uh, Hewlett Packard, and uh, he's doing the prelims in color for the to sell the job, and it's working for him. Yeah, and that oh, that that's a good tip right there. Um, but it's like about six bucks a sheet, right? We're talking twenty four by thirty six. Not, not to print no, your no. own. What? Not to print your own. It's not. Oh, well, just I, buy I can't print my own. <laughs> For twenty five hundred bucks, you get a nice color plotter, and uh, you could do your own. Well, the one that the guy is using at the print shop is about a fifty thousand dollar machine. Oh yeah, because they got to do it fast. Well, they're <laughs> he's kicking them out like sixteen a minute. Yeah. For a buck a sheet. Well, I I think pretty soon everybody's going to do it. It's just a matter of time. Uh, but but anyway, we're back to this. So, do you guys realize that? All three, Glenn, Perry, and I, we all do something different. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. But not one of us does the same thing. No. I, 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 and I'm, I'm still not sure who's right. That's I, why they call it preferences. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay. 
So anyway, I, I use grayscale. So when I turn off my color, I still get grayscale. That's why. Yeah. Right. Uh, I turn off my color. Yeah. And oh, if you turn off color when you print, you still get grayscale. Yeah. Yes. And and I, I don't want to. Um, I I don't want. Yeah. For whatever reason, I got away from. I don't think the print company dealt with my color PDFs very well. That's why I switched back. Well, I like your red dimensions there. They're going to come out awful light. That's got to be a dark red to come out in grayscale. When, when, I, when I print and when I print when I print the PDF, is that what you're saying? Yeah, when you print the PDF, any light, real light colors are going to come out real light. So I try to keep everything on the darker side. So what what color do you think I should use on this? Yellow. I, I I use black. Tell you the truth, for dimensions. Oh yeah, that's that makes more sense. Yeah. Try and avoid try and avoid yellow. It's the worst. Oh, yellow's horrible. Okay. Anyway, that was sort of interesting. I'm I'm not sure if anybody learned anything. Anyway, that's sort of interesting that we all three of us do it a little bit differently. That was kind of different. Uh, that was the black and white grayscale. Oh, oh, uh, dialogue previews. Dialogue previews. Uh, what, what's that all about? Um, like uh, like cabinet, uh, when you open up a cabinet, do you want it as a vector view or a, or a standard view? There it I is. Like the, I like the vector because you can see the lines. Yes. Yep. I agree with you. Uh, good call on that. I think I'm recording this film. Um, back to preference. I, oh, uh, what is it? Command comma. Is that how you hear quickly? Um, drop down. Child tool palette. I'm not sure what you guys use. Oh, this is a lot of. I I use icons, pretty much. So do you I put a lot? I put a lot of icons actually in the program. Yeah, this child. If I do the child tool palette, what am I going to get? Oh, you'll get it's, the it's child. Really, yeah, it's really nice for learning. First few months. Well, why wouldn't you? Uh, why wouldn't you control? I can figure out my uh, control. Can't, can't figure my. What, what's that? That's a comma. Is that a comma right there? See if I can do that real quick. Comma. There it is. Yeah, comma. That's how I get that. Um, what about the drop down? See, I think I like the drop down better. Before I got into the hotkeys. Who's talking about that? Uh, it's easier to do. Well, I, I leave that child tool that was up on the right side there. I leave that up all the time. And it's like a, and every time I pick something, all the child tools automatically come up to the side. But I also have uh, custom, custom the, icons. The trouble, yeah, the trouble with yeah, that is leave that the sub menu doesn't open up like next to the main tool icon. Whereas with the drop downs, it, it does what it says. It opens up the child tools. Oh yeah, yeah. I got the main tool. Yeah, you, I, I assume you guys are picking up on that. And it's uh, nice. I'm sorry. It's nice. Though. It's nice though because it permanently permanently displays the whole um, the whole range of tools. And I think there is a way you can actually have the tool description with it in the child toolbar. Toolbar. Okay. I, I, uh, but it's it's really meant for learning because it it uh, sucks up uh, screen space if if you've already memorized all the tools yes i understand yes for more for learning got it thank you thanks chop saw um and and I, so i keep it drop i use hotkeys uh side window drag docking uh, uh. <laughs> anybody anybody yeah. want to stab at this well i use uh, i i keep the active layer display options on all the time in my second monitor. I leave that on all the time. Okay, let's let's take. Oh, like okay, I'm gonna check all these things and so we can talk about it. I, I really don't know what this stuff is. Oh, so I still don't know what it is. Did I do anything? Well, all it does is allow you to automatically dock those dial up those boxes um, to the side of the screen, doesn't it? Yeah, you you can That's dock. Just, uh, just you, automatic talking. Yeah, wherever you put it, it'll stay there. And I have all of them on. I don't know. Oh, Library, so. everything. It, is this the uh, is this the Aldo right here? Is this the what? 
All the A L D O. Yeah. Is this the, the Aldo? A L D O? Yes. Uh, it is. Yeah. I, I have a hotkey for that. I, I think you I select this at a nine and uh, hotkey it pulls up. And I think a lot of people keep that on all the time. I just have a uh, hotkey for it. A little hot. Anyway, that's what. I'm not sure what the point of that conversation was, but let me go back to this. Well, on, a, on a second monitor, it's nice. It's just up all the time. You don't need yeah, it. Yeah, but, yeah, but this setting here has got nothing to do whether it displays or not. It's got to do whether you just docks automatically on the side of the screen. Whether it docks okay. itself on okay. the side so, of the screen or not. So ALDO, the active layer display options. So uh, I'm going to uncheck this, and I, I, I always do the – there it is again. I don't, I don't quite understand what you're saying, Glenn. Well, drag, okay, so, so turn on active, turn on side window drag docking, and then check active layer display options. It is. And then when you open the ALDO, just drag it to the, drag it to the side, and it should automatically dock. Oh, oh, in in, in my window, that's what you're saying. Yes, it's just docks to the screen, yeah. Oh, okay. If you guys want it's nothing to do whether it's on or off. Uh, I got you. I, so I, I, I really don't. I don't even want that. I, I don't want that because, because it takes up screen space. But I know Perry uses a second monitor for that, and I get that. Yeah. But just, so that's, what, that's what that's all about, guys. Uh, minimum display options, uh, four. Uh, if I made this uh, 16... And label 16. Let's see what happens there. See how much bigger that is. And but but I guess it goes back to normal size eventually. Oh, I have to zoom really far in. So I don't know who told me, but someone suggested four. What do you guys use? Zero. Zero. For me. Oh, Zero. and as always, see is what you get. I want to see it the way it is. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Well, I should do that then. Done. Yeah, I think you're. I get you. I get you. I, I understand what you're saying. By the way, I, I, I have a quick question for you. Here's a uh, you. You. I'm going to change this line style, uh, and I think it has something to do with what you were just talking about. I'm going to go to the library. I'm going to go to uh, my uh, line styles, and you can see how many I have. I have hardly any. There. Well, I have two of them. I didn't realize I had two. Wait, what happened? Where is it? There. Now, sometimes th this, just so you know, sometimes th th this FR shows up very small, and sometimes it shows up big, and that is probably having to do with, with what we were just talking about. Would you guys agree with that? Right. Keep it at zero, and you'll always see what you get. I just changed it to four. Uh, I don't think this is, I don't think this setting we're talking about has got to do with line styles, does it? I don't know. I have a feeling you're right. No. Well, I won't get into that because that's my own little problem. That's so, just you, dimensions and labels. Okay. Yes. Got it. Okay. Uh, colors. Uh, background color. Uh, I, uh, I set it to zero. I mean, white. White, white. When I select something, it's red. Handles are blue and selections are green. I don't know what you guys do. Any, any comments on that? Uh, well, I don't like a white background. I think it's too stark. I just use a white gray just to soften it up a bit. Oh, that's make it a bit easier on the eyes. You would do is you do something. And I was thinking about this just yesterday, as a matter of fact. I think that someone posted, that's what you like. And uh, I, even, I've got even a little bit darker than that. Oh, do you? Uh, but I think why I like that is because, uh, nine, because I think what I like is rooms. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought my room had a fill. Oh, it does. Oh no, that's that's wrong. That gave my my room. That's not what I want. Just so you guys know, uh, where am I at? I'm at. Uh, where was I at? Colors. Yeah. See, I. Background color. I I want it white. Okay. I want my rooms white, and I I guess what I was thinking is the back. Well, does that. If you want your rooms white, you know what I have. I have a setting so that as soon as I draw a room, yep. it automatically shows solid fill, transparent solid fill, so I know I've got rooms. There it is. 
I, I've been using background color. I should use custom color, which is what you use, uh, uh, Glenn, I think. What 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 dialog box are you in there? Is that the room? Room specification, yes. Well, if you want to look the same, you use the background color. Does it print, I, I, Glenn? I, I, does, I, does your dark gray print? I, I, no, of course not. It does. I, I, it's only a screen color. Hey, there's a great advantage to that gray color. I do that also. If you're using some sort of a the Band-Aid trick where you're using a box to cover over something, it's usually going to be white, of course. If you have a gray background, you don't have to hunt around for it. It's real obvious where it is. And it doesn't print. Yeah, although you can see it in the right. panel. So you can see the fills, too, where you have a fill. And I think I, I think this is, a, this is what I like right here. I, I think what I did wrong on this... I think this is what Glenn uses a, a, a gray background. I'm using a, a gray background, but when I gave my room a fill, just out because I didn't know any better, I gave my uh, my rooms. Uh, where's my fill? I gave my rooms. I, I said use background color. Not good. I should have oh, been using no. custom color. I should have been using custom color. And now, how do I get a pure white? That white box right there. <laughs> you just select, no, select the white color. Well, how, how do I? Okay, where is the white color? Right there. Well, I, I, we've got a different dialog box than you for, to select the color. But when I go into color, um, I've got a we're, we've got a select color dialog box is different than yours. Yes, you're a yes, you're absolutely correct. It is. That's I've got white, and I can just select white. There. Now I've selected white, Glenn. I, I went on other two uh, another dialog box here. And I struggle. I fumble around with these colors. There, that's it. I love this. Thank you. You got to change all the rooms now. Yep. No, 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 you know you can you can do that automatically. So that as soon as you draw a room, it'll show white fill. Yes, and and and, and uh, that would be and just so you. I just found that the other day, as a matter of fact, right here. Uh, I love it. So you you know instantly without having to go around and fill every room, you know I, that you have room definitions. I, I agree. And so where is that setting so that I create a room that's automatically that color? I think it's default floors and rooms. Um, oh, where is it? Oh, I, I thought it was right here, Glenn. Right where floors and rooms. Yeah, I have an issue with that floors and rooms. <laughs> too. Yes. I hope someone you, uh, at headquarters is listening to this. But, but wait, where is that, Glenn? Uh, I just saw this the other day. Um, current floor. Sorry? Current floor, sure. current floor oh. fill style. Oh, perfect. Love it. Current floor. Solid. On the fill style, yeah. Custom color. So that's what I use blue. I use exactly that color, and I've got to set the ninety-five percent transparency. Ooh, that's clever. And then you draw a room, and automatically gets filled with that color. With a blue color. Yep. Well, uh, but but it's but it's ninety-five percent, so it's just a very light blue. I, I kind of like that. Light. But, yeah. but but now how do how do I change all these rooms all in one full fell swoop to all white? Can I do that? The, they change if you do what we just did. If you go into the defaults, the floor one defaults. I just did that, and I it, it didn't change. You say four rooms. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you, it will only apply to new rooms. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I don't like about floors and rooms. And and not only that, but what if you have a you have a bedroom on the first floor and you have a bedroom on the second floor, and then you got to change all the floor systems and everything? I just don't like the way they've done that. You, it's you know the you say you set up your floors and uh, you set up you set up the individual rooms and you call it a you, when you create a bedroom you call it a bedroom but I have bedroom first floor bedroom second floor because second floor would have a of course a, a wood floor instead of you a slab. Find, Barry you can define different room types go open up room types and you can yeah yeah I know it's just I got I got forty of them, and it's it's like well. well, well uh, I think what Glenn's saying is you can have bed you can have bed bed one for the slabs for your bedrooms on the first floor, and then bed two for your bedrooms on the second floor will have a wood floor. Is that what you're saying, yeah. Glenn? Yeah, yeah. You can create your own 
Yeah, um, that's what I, that's kind of what I'm doing. But uh, sometimes you have a laundry room on the second floor too. You know, and I mean, you got to create double of everything just to get it to work right. Well, see, well, see, but but you don't even have to do that. I, I don't. Well, this is so interesting. Uh, okay, fine. Because I I just go to my current floor and one fell swoop. It, swoop, it's going to be uh, wood floors. Not necessarily. Uh, that is Not if I've already named it something that oh. had a slab and it should be a wood floor. You oh. know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Fine. And here's my solution for that. Unspecified. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't name any rooms. I don't. I, I don't name any rooms except for open to below garage and maybe a porch. Oh, oh, you can just go and change it on a room by room basis. What well, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, but you I can't name expect, my... you can't expect chiefs to read your mind. I name all my rooms for the schedules. I use the I use the actual the room finish schedules and all that, but it's just a I, I just don't, I wish they could redo that somehow. It just doesn't work for me as well as it should. Oh, well, then then you need a laundry one and a laundry two. Laundry one would be on a slab. Laundry two would be on a wood floor. Right. So now I have fifty room definitions. Yeah. You know. And it's, it's, I don't know, it just seems like there's an easier way somehow. Well, I'm sure someone's probably listening. So anyway, uh, colors. Uh, so we just went through colors. Thanks for that, Glenn. Uh, that was, oh, uh, does anybody else have a comment on this? David Zawowski or Curtis Johnson? Jeez, he's, he's out in the, and Sherry Bentley. Well, sure he's here. Oh, Tom Pelkey, Steve Nestor. Nice. Anyway, um. Uh, anybody else have any comments on this? I guess not. If you fonts, I, I, I haven't I haven't looked at this in fifteen years. Do you have, <laughs> am I supposed to do something with this? Does anybody do anything with this? I use Arial. That's all I know. <laughs> well, yeah, I use cheap blueprint. Uh, cheap. Uh, you know what I use? No, okay. No, okay. I, I, I use cheap. It says Ariel on your Scott. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, yeah, it's only for um, legacy dimensions and material is. So if you don't use either of those, you, it's not going to affect you. Oh, that's what this is for. That, is that what you just said, Glenn? This is for what now? Uh, material lists? Yeah, it's only for legacy dimensions and material lists. Oh. Oh. I don't do materials, and I guess I don't use material uh, legacy dimensions. I guess uh, library oh. library browser. Um, I I have these hidden. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have them? Shh. I, I, I guess I don't know what I have. Control here. Here's my here's my library. Just go back. You have them on hidden, don't you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, well, this is another thing. I got to do so many clickings just to get. Anyway, um, library. Yeah, that, that you have them. You're not you hiding them. them. Okay, if if I unhide them, what's going to happen? No, you're hiding it now. Oh, now I'm hiding. <laughs> it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got it. If I hide I mean, it, now... you only get one box in your in your um in your browser in your library browser. Yeah, here you guys can see the library. You can see what I just did. And so yes, I think I think it makes a lot of sense to have that. I guess it makes sense to have it check, unchecked, and I do. And tile to fit window. Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, what about scrollable list? Do I want a scrollable list? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Now the scrollable list applies if you select one of those library items. Now one of those libraries. Oh, that's your usual user library, is it? There's a library. Yeah. There's a library. So it means you'll have a scrollable list only in the selection pane. So I've got my, you know, I've got mine set up a bit differently than you. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, how about if I go over to uh, beds, bittersweet? Are you telling me that this is? Oh, this is a scrollable list. Yeah. Like roll through it. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, and I, I, I don't want this scrollable list. I like to see all the pictures at one time, I think. So I, I, I'm going to tile the fit window. There, that's what I like. So I can see them all at one time. Right. 
But anyway, that's what I have. Yeah. You have what you want, Tom. Uh, show names and, yeah, uh, show names. I guess that's what the names are down here. It makes sense. And I have it, I have it, I have this whole, this, my library uh, tiled vertically, not horizontally. I mean, if I wanted it horizontal, this is what it would look like. Oh. And I have mine stacked because it just seems to be a nicer way to do it. What did I have? Oh, you have it stacked. Oh, I know why I didn't. Yeah, um, this is uh, the reason why I didn't like this as much is because it takes up more screen. But uh -huh. anyway, just a comment. Uh, because I, I don't have it stacked. I have it uh, vertical. vertical. Yeah, I, yeah. I get, yeah. Anyway, that's that's what that's all about. That's kind of neat that we went through that library browser, uh, and then the oh standard or oh I have it as standard. The view pane is that standard? Oh, there it is, right there. And that's what you're talking about, Perry. We were talking about that a little bit ago. You, yeah. you like it in vector view, but here if I pick the oh, so what you would do, Perry, is maybe I should do that. Uh, you would do. Vector view. That's what you have. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Does it, it move maybe smoother? I don't know. Yeah. Usually render views uh, work better than vector views, but that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a text. Type text. Um, oh, here's a good one. Uh, text specification enter key. When I enter. Oh, when I hit return, it closes the box. So I have to hit command return to create another line. I don't know. This is a, this is gonna be a good one for you guys, I think. Why? Why? So if if I get if I start typing something, I have to hit command command return to get my second line. If I hit return, it closes the box. What do you guys use? Uh, I've got to create a new line because that's what I want to do. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I've got to create new line. And so I'm I'm the only one that doesn't do it that way. Because we're so used to using providing word processing documents on document. And that's how it just follows on that should be happening here. So you guys have to hit the OK button to close this window. I don't, I just right. need to return. Gotcha. Got it. Uh that was that was text. Uh, yeah, so I don't have this check, but you guys have that check. Default designer information. Oh, this is just my stuff. And then leader lines. I have two. What do you guys have? Yeah, two. Two. two? Oh, and, and do you have uh, uh, create rich text or the other stuff? Yeah, I do mine with rich text just because I like that as the default. Me too. Now, yeah. it, but, what, 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 but, but now you can't, um, now the text isn't. Controlled by the uh, layer, the text <coughs> controlled by the layer, is that right? No, no, it's just whether it creates normal text or rich text gone under the layer. Oh, well, unless rich text goes to its own layer, doesn't it? Okay, so let's, let's, do, let's do it your way. Uh, let's ooh, cancel. Let's do it your way. YL, uh, YL, so I'm going to go to, to, whatever, bump, bump, and I'm going to go. This is rich text, and another line, another line, and now I'm going to switch to eight. Ah, see, see, that's 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 where the that's where the problem is, I think. Now I'm going to go to eight. That's right. That is the problem with uh, using rich text for this stuff because, well, for me anyway, because I I cannot control this by the nine. Uh, what am I doing? If, if I want to change this text to 20, size 20, it's not going to change because it's rich text. Yeah, 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 you can change it easily. What do you mean? Oh, well, no. just, you highlight open up, the, open up the, the text box. Yeah, I, I'd have to do that, but I can't do it by layer. That's what I'm getting at. Oh. Oh. Open it. And, and how often do I do it? I do it, but it's always a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, so I don't do it. So, oh. Yeah, so it, it just it's not working for me, but that's that's just the downside to using rich text. 
because now if I don't use rich text, I can go uh, YL and I can I can type this stuff in like this and uh, again and again and again and done. And now I can uh, select this stuff and I can change this stuff on the layer. It's going to be controlled by the layer. And it, and it has something to do with uh, site plans, whether I have to do my site. Use layer for text style. Oh, I'm um, uh, nine. Oh, it's line weight. Dummy. Yeah. So if I change the, uh, you got what I'm saying. So when I, that, the purpose of this was, and it's not working very good, so maybe I should switch to your guys' method is, I might draw this at one inch equals 10 foot for uh, uh, my, my site plan, but then because it won't fit on a sheet of paper, I have to switch to one inch equals 40 feet, which and then I want to change this text style, size. Oh, rich text will change. Not automatically, um, not, not per layer. I uh, I use rich text, and I I uh, if I change the text size on the layer, it will change. Okay, so you're know. telling me I can change this if I change this right here. Uh, it, it's it, it, can't, it can't change it because there's two. There's actually two different sizes. Well, do you select? The text and then change it, or do you? What do you do? I don't know. He's trying to, he's trying to change the text size by layer, Perry. Yeah, I do that all the time, but no. Well, you might be okay. right. Wait a second. Wait a second, Perry. I'm I'm gonna change it to six CV. No, it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. I cannot change it. 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 I saw it change. What do you mean? What you saw change? I think you saw this. I saw both of them, all three of those changes. Did you? Okay, Except that one, that one is designated in two different sizes, so maybe. Uh, That's my point. That's my point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I never do that, so I don't know. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, that's what that's all about. There you go. Uh, so we're back to uh, text. We finished text. Boy, this is um, general um, undo. Any comments on this? Twenty. That could be a hundred now. They fixed it, so it could be unlimited. Okay, so I, I can change to a hundred. Uh, maximum check for program dates every day. I guess who cares, right? Yeah. Uh, show options at startup. Ah, uh, oh, don't show that. That's a waste of time. Yeah. Oh, that's just that splash screen at the beginning. Yeah, not a big deal. So troubleshooting, optimize for multi-core. Definitely. 2D, 2D zoom and panning op optimizations. If you got yeah. a good video card, you really don't need that. But I turn it off. I turn that off. Really? Why, why would I turn it off? I, I, I assume I have a good well, video card. Well, because my video card handles it just fine. And I don't need it. So if you, But if I have a check, is it, is it causing a problem? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. But there used to be trouble with that. And then they fixed it. And then uh, I've always had a good enough video card where I don't need to have that on. That's really like a troubleshoot thing. If you're having slowness in your program and that kind of thing, it'll turn stuff off. Well, all it does is turn stuff off as you zoom in and out. And if you got a great video card, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to leave it checked. It, it, I'm not, it, yeah. it doesn't hurt me. I'm going to leave it checked just because. What about record timing log? I never have that on. Okay. Mouse oh mouse movement. Ooh. Mouse movement optimizations. What's this? I think that's new. <laughs> I, think I don't know what the... yeah, that might be a Mac thing. I don't know. Yeah, because it's not on my yeah. screen. I haven't got that. Really? Whereabouts is it? It's under uh general. General. Mouse okay. control sensitivity. Oh You're mouse. Can we see that dialog box again, Scott? Yes, yes, I will. Oh, this is really, really fast. I just I'm going to show you right now. Here it is. It's under, it's under general, man. And I turn the way I turn it way up, which means if I move my scroll wheel, it moves a lot because I made it really high. If I move this way down like this now, watch this. Now I can scroll. It takes a lot more scroll wheels to. To move 
to pan in and out. That, that's, a, that's a Mac setting. I haven't got that on my Windows version. Okay, interesting. And I haven't got the one above it either. Uh, which okay. is? The one above it, yeah. Oh. That one. Well, oh, I think, okay. I, I, think that that, I think this pertains to this, Glenn. Okay. okay. Oh, I, I, oh, maybe it doesn't. That turns it off and on? No. Maybe? Actually, no? it's quite two different things. I guess I don't I have otherwise, so I have to check. <laughs> so anyway, that's new. That's, I guess that's with the Mac. I never noticed this before. So what, what about defaults? Edit active default on double click. Yeah, I have that set. That's good. You should, I should have a set? Well, what it means is that if you double click on a, um, a menu icon, it will take you to the default setting. So double click on, say, your dimension icon. Oh. Oh yeah, that's, that makes sense, right? Yeah. It opens up your um, your default setting dialog box. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for that. Um, and so, if I turned it if I turned it off, the double click is used for something else, I guess. Um, I'll just check. I Hold think on. Scott, you use. Uh, Numbers, don't you, to get into all these boxes and stuff anyway? Or, uh, what do you yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think I, I think sometimes I click an icon to get into the, to the defaults, but I didn't realize. I just did it. <laughs> and I didn't realize. What, what, what happens is if you have that unchecked, uh, it doesn't open up the default. It opens up just the normal one on a double click. So. If you have that checked and you double click on your dimension icon, it will open up the active default. If you have that box unchecked, it won't open up the active default. It'll just open up the normal default dialog box. Got it. Build root. Yeah, these aren't defaults. Yes, I understand. So I think it makes sense to have it checked if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. And oh, here, save dialogue size and position. This is this is really cool. I think always. I assume you guys have always checked on this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, room planner import. And, oh, I, 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 open, I, and open dialogues to the last panel. Yeah, the last one. That's yeah. That one check too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So what? What that means? I think is what you're telling me is if I come into. Uh, if I come into this window right here and I open this window and I go to arch, oh, yeah. now I'm going to select that window again. Uh, arch. Yeah. Hello. Or a different window for the, for the same function. Yeah. Okay. I go to this window. I open that window up. Arch. Oh, gee. Yeah. Huh. Saves a lot of time. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. And then room room planner import measure windows from inside a frame. Who cares? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, auto management uh, auto save every five minutes. Any comments on that? No, I don't have auto save on it at all. Oh, you don't have a save because at all. I don't, I don't want to be doing work and find out that I've done something wrong and Chief's gone and changed it. I saved it. I have that unchecked. I I save, but yeah, you you might be right. Yeah. I, I do my own, I do my own I just say. File locking. Disable file locking or use... Oh. Oh, uh, well, that's only if you're sharing. Oh. So, then that's for sharing. Okay, use... I I, yeah, if you... I, yeah. Oh, I use disable just because nobody shares with me. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're mad. Uh, maximum yeah. files? Maximum, maximum files here? Any comments? Uh, I got minus 12. 12? Yeah, I have 20. <laughs> what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh. The, rec the recent file list. When you yeah. go open recent file. Got yeah. it. And show a sub menu. Cause, so if I go over here, I go to file, uh, open recent. Oops. Yeah, see, I don't have that. I have the other way. I have um, I have that unchecked. So I get all my file lists down the bottom of that list. Oh, you, 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 uh, it just opened it back up to what, what, it just opened up to where I was last time. I, I love this. The old, 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so where was I at? Uh, uh... Man, general fall management. Oh, yeah, R right there. But I, I didn't I just do that? I changed it to 20, but I showed you that there's only six of them there. Oh, maybe I'll have to start opening up and then they can collect it again. That's right, they'll collect it, yeah. Yeah. Thumbnail images, I think we all have that off, don't we? I have it off, yeah. Okay, what about auto archive files? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that works like they advertise, but it doesn't really... I, I have it... Uh, daily but i don't know what it does i have the same as you so i have mine set to previous state and then you don't get these <clears throat> i think these great big long lists of um auto archive files you, you only have one, you only have one saved file is what you're telling me glenn right i think so with previous state yeah yeah because you know i think i think somewhere i used to have this, this set as daily uh and i had more than one you just end up with thousands of files I got you. Well, I, I for me it opens up when it's about twenty, and then I delete them. Oh, I remember those <laughs> old days. ones. Yeah, see, you have it set for daily or hourly. Yeah, yeah. I remember those days now. You're right. Okay, auto archive warning. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I have it set for twenty, and then I just when it comes up, I delete fifteen of them. You have to open up a folder to do it, or you just click oh, delete. Uh, it just comes up. And then I, I, I click uh, however many files I want to delete and just delete them. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I've got it. Folders. Uh, does anybody ever use this? Yeah, yeah, I do. If I want to find where some sort of setting is or, you know, my images or something like that. Or if you move your data files to another drive, you got to do that. <clears throat> and then what you can do is if you go to... Um, Say you go down to the all, all program paths and then show, and it lists all the um, various. Right. And then if, if you select one, you can click that show in Explorer, which is pretty handy. It say that again now? What now? If you click on one of those files, and then you go down the bottom left hand corner there, <clears throat> on mine it says show in Explorer. I don't know what yours says. Show in Explorer. Oh, that's nice, yeah. So you can find your way, you know, to that folder very easily. Oh. Use toolbar folder, show in finder. Where's my toolbar finder? That, and that's where my toolbars are. Yeah. Very and, easy to find things like that. Yeah. I got you. So I, 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 get, I get 15 years and I haven't had to use it yet. But, uh, my hotkeys. Uh, show in finder. Uh, there's my hotkeys. And so what would yeah. I? Do? I mean, I, why why would I move? I just well, some people like to put stuff on uh, Drive D because their uh, their SST drive is running out of space, so they put junk on other drives. I got you. That's that's a PC thing, Mac. There you go, Glenn. With a with a Mac, you don't have to worry about that stuff. Okay. okay. So um, oh, and this is the undo folder. My temporary. Can I just. No one has a copy. Well, you, you know, you might want to find your archives folder. People say, where's my archives folder? Well, you know, you can come here, you can go to archives folder, click show in Explorer, and there it is. So I see it right here. Archives, there it is. Yeah, you got you, show and finder. Actually, they already have a button that'll show them to me, but I get, I get you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Ruby, uh, hmm, is that a bad word? That's too no, guy. I, I love, I love Ruby. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't know a thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, a do little you? bit. <laughs> okay, Barry, what size level have you got? <laughs> yeah. What what level? I have level uh, one, I think. No, oh, one. Wow. <laughs> hey, Joe, Joe set me up. <laughs> what, what happens if you change it to safe level four? <laughs> no, I, then nothing will work. Okay. <clears throat> but, I, but I have hundreds of macros that I use. I just can't make them. I know how to use them, but I don't know how to make them. New plans. On I, I don't think we need to do anything here, do we, in Ruby? I'm sorry? We don't have to do anything here with this setting in Ruby. Yeah. No. And, uh, 
th this is everybody knows what this is. Um, I guess you know this. That's your profile plans. Whatever profile plan you when you open a plan template, that's your plan templates. So we don't have a way of doing that. Unit conversions. Do we care about that? I don't know. I got a I got a calculator. <laughs> You can do some really interesting things with these unit conversions. You can create your own units, which is really interesting. But let's not go into that now. Okay, got it. <laughs> Perfect. Time tracker. Uh, I think I have time tracker started, but I, I never use it. Anybody keep track of never, it? Turn them off. Uh, Don't use it. Oh, turn them off. Yeah, yeah turn them off. Okay, so use them. That's okay. a waste of resources. Shows, oh, architect, show what uh, was. I, I'm just going to go through these preferences and we'll call it a day. I, I mean, it might be enough, I think. But architectural shows same wall type handles. Yep. Yeah, I use them. Select room uh, before wall in 3D. Yeah, I have that unchecked. But, you know. Yeah, me too. I have that unchecked. All right, thank you. I will too. Uh, turn on connect island rooms when opening legacy plans. I think that should be checked, I suppose. Yeah. Opening indicators point to hinge size. That, that makes sense, right? Yep. Yeah, to you guys, it does, but not to us. So. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, there. that's there for us. Stair sections move independently. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like to move them sometimes. Yeah. So I should uncheck check this? Oh, I have a check, but. You know. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah I, I think, yeah, it is sort of. Yeah, I get it. Enable showroom label automatic behavior when changing room types. Ugh. Yeah. Any comment? I guess that then your room label will come back on. I leave that off because I don't use room labels, so to speak. Either. I and, use macros. Oh, this is the one that Glenn loves. Automatically pick. <laughs> 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 Turn that off. Uh, leave it checked there, but just on your on one of your menu, just customize your menu and put on a uh, delete. Uh, what is it? Delete temporary points. Icon, yeah. so you can just yeah. click on the icon and delete all your points. In one Scott's go. always liked those. He's always had hundreds oh, of them. Oh. I got a plan from Scott that's got a million bloody temporary points. On it. So, so how, how, if I want to use, if I want to use that, uh, show the automatic points. What do I do? Well, you've got it turned on. In, turn it on in preferences, which so is I'm what not, you've got. Now I have to turn it back on, right? You have to what? Yeah, if you want to show those, leave it turned on. Yeah. But then have an icon on your toolbar for delete temporary, delete temporary points. Oh, I got that. I got a hotkey for that. O option B. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, use it. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get late. Yeah, use it. Okay. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. I will. Uh, uh, yes. Skylights automatically generate ceiling holes. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, CAD. CAD. Uh, Oh, what do you have for this? Use by object? I have, I have both those checked. Yeah, I have both checked. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, options, connect CAD segments or advanced. Yeah, connect CAD segments. I, I, yeah. Yep. Advanced splines? No. Nah. Okay. Oh, they're, they're, really, they're, they're really complicated. That gives you another, another level of control over splines. And unless you need it, well, you don't need it. Okay. By the way, this is a real cool one. Do you guys have this set? Yep. Oh, yep. one one twenty eighth. Uh, one sixteen. Yeah, I think uh, I think one one twenty eighth is a good number. Uh, I think that has to do with, you know, like your cabinets right there. Uh, let's see if I can show you real quick. I think it'll make, make uh, module lines. Module lines. How about uh, uh, thirty and make it red? I don't care. There. So now you're gonna see, see now you see my module lines right there, but I don't want to see them all the way across. So if I change this to 0.25, see how much it's it's, it's about the dotted line, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's got to do with the, length, the minimum length of that dotted line. Yes, dashed line. It's just so, it's just so you don't get blank spaces at the end of the line, really. Right. Oh, yes. Uh huh. But, but also, I think it has. It, 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 anyway, you guys play with it. I think uh, you might like it. Uh, one one twenty eight is what I'm getting at. Oh, and, and everybody has their own sun angles and whatever. We don't care about this, right? I mean, we, everybody knows. That. I don't even. 
I don't even use that. I go sun follows camera on everything. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the one to push for that too. Oh, did you? Okay. Well, thank you too. <laughs> That was like I mean, that. I don't, I don't do real sun studies. I know, that, I know you do in Australia. We, yeah, we have to on every job. Yeah. Uh, edit, enable and plan and cross section elevation views. Oh, that, that's across here, right? Yeah. And enable and perspective views. I don't think you ever need a cross here on a perspective view. I wouldn't think. No, I have that off. Yeah. Yeah, and synchronize with cursor. Yeah, that right. makes sense. Uh, color. Uh, what am I? Oh, this is the cross here. Yeah, I have a blue cross here. Yeah, I got the same. Okay, I got red. And window I width green. This window uh, width is is if, here's my where, here's my cross here. Yeah, if if your window width, you see my cross here. If the window width is, oh god, I love this. Open the same view panel. This is so awesome. Fifty <laughs> percent. You only get fifty percent of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. The, Oh, oh, that's what this is. That's right. Fifty yeah. percent, and yeah. this this means the crosshair is actually cross. The center thing, yeah. Yeah. You put that at twenty, you'd get a bigger center. Doesn't make any sense. Edit handles. Uh, I, I picked four and one. What do you guys have? Uh, I think I got more than that, so I can see them. Oh, <laughs> I've got twelve and one. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I, I I should quite update this. Yeah. See it. Thank you. Yes, because you can see it. But my eyes are going bad. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So that's what I just did. I just changed it to eight and uh, edit handle tolerance. What does that mean? How close you have to be to the handle to move it. You know. Yeah, change it to four. You don't have to be right on top of it. Oh, maybe I should change it to two. Go along with my bad eyes. Yeah. Okay. That. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I just. <laughs> you guys had it set at one. You might change it to. Anyway, two. I changed mine to two. I might like it better. And I think you always show start and end indicators, correct? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Mark. Oh, this is a good one. Marquee selection. I, I I don't know what you guys. Have. I have it set to contain objects. It has to completely contain it. What do you guys have? Me yeah, too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I, what I'm thinking about doing is getting a, a hotkey so I can quickly switch to intersected or objects because once in a while I want that behaviors. Uh, rotate resize around object center, but there's a hotkey, or I have a hotkey now. I can do it around current point, and that's something I think Glenn talked about in a video just recently, which I think is really cool. Yeah, uh, object around current point makes sense. Rotate jump zero degrees. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, primary uh, movement is orthogonal. I guess that makes no, sense. Yeah, you have, on polar. Good. you have yours on polar, and, and what that yeah. does is. I think what that is is uh, if I have this, if I have this cannon, control CB, stick a cannon right there. If I, that's orthogonal, and what Glenn is saying, I think, is if he has it on orthogonal, he can go out at a forty-five degree angle. Is that what you're saying, Glenn? Yeah, like I forget the details of how it works now, but it's got to do with yeah, with so when you're dragging objects, whether it there you goes go. Yeah. yeah, now you're. I'm gonna try that for a little bit. See if I like. Uh -huh. it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what Glenn does. He's, he has. He has. He doesn't have it orthogonal. He has it polar. Yeah. That's that's kind of okay. That's, give, give that a try. Uh, uh, continuous uh, drawing behavior yeah. checked. Yeah. I assume that's right. Edit. Edit type is default. Yeah. We all know that yeah. stuff. I think we know that stuff. And behavior indicators. Oh, what are the behavior indicators? I forgot. Yeah, those oh. little things that come up next to the cursor when you need to rebuild the terrain or you need to really be, oh. rebuild floors, walls, and ceilings. Those are little warning indicators. Yes, and they, and they added the uh, terrain. They added the, yeah, and they added uh, just, just just so someone might uh, not know what we're talking about. Here's a here's an indicator. You look at my cursor. Uh, I just turned my angle snaps off. That's what that's all about, if you guys didn't know. Uh, I just no, remind you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be, be nice to have... Separate um, settings for all those too, but <clears throat> so they're all enough at the moment. I agree. I agree. That's a great point um, because I think sometimes we, we I, I, I want to see if the angle snaps are off or if a wall doesn't connect, but yeah. occasionally you want to turn off rebuild terrain, and you and you don't want to see that rebuild terrain icon on your arrow. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's that'd be a perfect example. Snap properties. Like, oh, yeah, huh? like snaps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, snap properties. Uh, two in history. Uh, I, I have four, but you know, it doesn't matter. What, what about snap distance? <clears throat> Twenty. I think, I, I think mine's too small. What do you guys have? I got 20. 20. Uh, 20, yeah. 20? Okay, 20, fine. A maximum bump distance? I got 100. <clears throat> well, uh, what is that uh, control? How far you can bump things. I think it's to do with how far you can bump things before they start passing through. So that if you're dragging a cabinet up to a wall, it stops at the wall, and then if you keep dragging, it will actually move through the wall. Yes. So you have to go, you have to, okay, here it is, right here. I'm right. Oh, I, I, I oh, hang on a second. Let me try one more time. I'm going to pull these uh, control CV, stick those right over here, and I'm going I'm to test that real quick. Here, here's my cabinet. I'm going to go push it up against this. And, ooh, it's not even bumping. It's not even yeah, bumping. bumping. Yeah, bumping, pushing on. No, do I need it on? <laughs> it's got to be on if you want to bump. <laughs> there, that, yeah, that's a good call. I, I think sometimes mine was overly sensitive, and I, I my cabinet would fly through. So I had now changed it to a hundred, like you guys. Snap cabinets after paste. Does that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Always yeah. snap walls on loud angles. Yeah, why not? Oh, snap yeah. indicators, six. Any comment on that? That's just the size of the snap indicator. Yeah, I've got mine at 12. 12? Yeah, mine, mine's eight. Uh, what, what, uh, I'm not sure what a snap indicator is. Can I see one? How do I see a snap indicator? The snap indicator is... We had snap indicator. If you want to, if you draw a line, say, so start the line command and then try and snap to something. Here's a line right there. Uh, here's, here's a line right here. And don't you get a, a red box? Or is that a. You get a red box around the cursor. No. Or around the. Oh. Now try, try and snap a line to that line. Okay. Just draw another line. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh. Yeah. That's. Oh. Oh, God. Snap indicator. How about twelve? That's I got. Right. You. There. Much. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Uh. How about twenty? <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, w A here. And then, now it's. Uh, yeah. Now, can, can, can we make it a heavier? I mean, a thicker line. Um. I'm getting greedy, I know. Okay, uh, here's the indicator color red, extension color blue, and angle snap grid color. So uh, if I'm going to do that, uh, WA here, it's that's red, and and then the, the blue is the uh, the blue is these. You know what the other uh, blue is? Uh, the blue was something else. Uh, oh, sorry. The blue was this, uh, an endpoint snap or something, or an online snap. Extension color. It's the extension color. Yeah. Oh, now what about uh, what about uh, how about how about how about uh, green for this angle snap? Oh, that might be interesting. Oh, a display angle snap grid. Okay, I'm going to try that for a second. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I it. In some cases, it might be helpful. <laughs> oh, okay. And so I'm not even using this, so I don't I don't even care what color it is. I got you. Okay, yeah, never mind. Got it. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, so I'm not going to display angle. And I just always have my snap my snaps on. I don't know. Yeah, I always I just have those on as a, a toolbar icon so that I can always just get to them really easily. Yeah. And angle snaps. I I, I have all these things on. I assume you guys do too. Material lists. You know, yeah, with that, it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, material. I, I, the, the materialist is most maligned, I think, unfairly. I I reckon the materialist is a lot better than a lot of people think. 
Yeah, I think it's better. It's gotten better over the years. Yeah. It's yeah, I, but I don't I don't use it, so yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sure. I, I hear yeah, okay. And and render. What about render? Uh, oh, here we here we go. Render horizontal lines. Hardware. Horizon lines. Oh, Horizon. Okay. <laughs> what did I call them? All right. Horizontal. Hey, horizontal. Turn your hardware edge smoothing to high. Yep, I got mine at high. Okay. Got a good, yeah. And what about codec? Oh, you uh, still. Uh, I don't know. That's Apple. I don't you know. Probably got different ones there because you're Apple. Yeah. Oh, is that is that default for Apple? The H two sixty four. I guess. Okay. I mean, I, I didn't. I didn't mess around with it. I don't think I did. I, I'm trying to break the uh, 720p um, uh, resolution barrier, and I just can't get there. Really, with an Apple? No, not with an Apple. Sorry. Oh, oh. Well, you but gotta I, have. Is your monitor hooked up with an HDMI cord? Uh, no, display display port. Okay, that's the only way you can get a, a 1080p is to hook up with an HDMI. For, for a walkthrough video? For 1080p resolution is the only, on your monitor is the only way you can get, the, uh, a, 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 a other than 720, if you want to go to 1080p, you have to use an HDMI. So get a little converter to convert an HDMI to, unless your video card doesn't have an HDMI. Oh no no no! I've got I got no problem with the screen. The the DisplayPort cables are newer than HDMI. Um, but when I'm actually recording a a Chief Architect walkthrough video, um, I can't seem to find codec settings that'll uh, record oh, any okay. better quality than than 720. I thought you were talking about your screen. No, sorry, the screen's fine. Oh, okay. But uh, I haven't even seen anybody post anything better than 720. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't do better. The only the only person I've seen post better than 720 is Yusuf. And he probably puts it in another program. And yeah, he's jacked it in another program, but it's his resolution is less than 720, but it, it reads as 1080. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> he's cheating. He's a mess. Oh, yeah, they don't have any rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no rules over there. <laughs> Uh, the 3D. Anyway, just just a side question. Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, the three D mouse. Anybody use this? Yeah, I got oh. one. Oh, how do you I got, I got one. It's nice, but it's very touchy. I haven't been able to. Uh, <coughs> it, it, it works great, but it, man, you really have to be good at it. I think Jared Balmer left. I thought he used it. I thought there was someone that used it. I I used it for a while, but I just yeah. Scott Menard has got his working pretty well now. You might want to talk to him. I've got a 3D Connect, uh, and uh, I don't know how you would use this program without that. Without what? Without uh, the Space Navigator. The 3D mouse, really? Yeah, I, I love it. Who's that, David Zawoski? Yes, sir. Well, you know what, David? What would be really neat is if you could uh, show us a demonstration of how you use it. Uh, and, and, would you mind doing that? Well, I mean, whatever you're working on, two D or three D, you could you could be in the middle of a function and you can zoom in, zoom out, you know, move it around. And, you know, if you're not in the right spot, you don't have to, you know. Well, I I I, I just I guess I'd like to see it. So, I mean, if you can stick around, for, I think we're about done here. And if I could just switch it over to you for a minute, you could just show us. Show oh, okay. Us. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Um, uh, so that's uh, that's oh, so. How do you have this set, by the way? Rotate about camera or focal point? Yeah, I have it around the focal point. That makes sense, I would think. So if I ever buy a three D mouse, I'm gonna have it around. Well, the I guess the other one, if you're doing interiors, it would work, you know, around the camera. But exteriors. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I think I, I understand that. Yes, I understand. Troubleshooting. Use enhanced lighting. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I had a I had a funny thing happen with that. I I for the life of me couldn't get shadows to show in my uh, 3Ds. And like I thought of everything, the camera settings everywhere. And I came here and this used enhanced lighting was unchecked. And this actually controls whether on my machine, whether I get shadows or not in 3D. And really? with the check, I do get shadows with that. With it unchecked, I can't generate a shadow. You got a good video card? 
Uh, got a crap video card. Okay, that's why. Okay. That's why. <laughs> okay. Easy to change out. I'm going. Well, I'm going to buy a Mac. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, I don't do that. Jeez. I've been holding off. Uh, te texture comp uh, compression. Any ideas? No, I don't know. I'm cheap. Command flushing rarely. Yeah. yeah, that's that's default rarely. Ray trace number of cores used. I think. Oh, I use seven for. I don't use. I don't even ray trace anymore. Uh, but How I, many you got? How many you got? Eight. I've got eight. Oh, okay. And I, I think they said use seven and save one for something else. And video card status. That's my video card. And reset options is we don't care. I don't know if anybody wants to talk about this, but if they don't, I want to turn this over to uh, David Zawaski. Are you ready, David? I was born ready. Oh, this is <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm going to uh, make. Have you seen one of these, Scott? Have you seen one? They're just like a little ball. Not even a ball. It's just a one-handle thing. Yeah, it's like a hockey puck with a little joystick yeah. on the top. Yeah. I want to see him use it. That, so, so you don't use a mouse? Is that what you're saying, David? No, I use the mouse. I use both hands. Oh, you use the mouse with one hand and this other thing with the other? Yeah, I want the one mouse in my right hand and then uh, the space navigator in the left hand. Oh my God, I couldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got to show us your you got to show us your screen, David. You, you should fly. Uh, okay, when ready, show my screen. Okay. I see it. Oh, I don't. Oh, what am I supposed to? Do? I think I got something in the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let's. let's pick something. See, I can zoom right. Lost the audio. I think he's still there. You still there, right, David? His screen's still there. And I'm using the space, but you're like, you know, you're in the wrong spot. Can you hear me? He sounds a little choppy. Sounds like chop saw. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Much yeah, better. there. <laughs> okay. Apparently, when you do something, the computer can't handle it. Was 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 that, was that did I have a delay when I was moving my stuff around like this? This is jerky. Though. Yours was pretty good, Scott. Okay, thanks. Um, is, is my audio terrible? It just breaks in and out. Oh, my! It's my internet connection. Probably, it's, probably the same so problem. Here we are. Time. In a so I, I don't know. Yeah, what I don't know what you're doing. Are you? Not enough bandwidth for, for video and audio at the same time. That's what I usually get crunched with. Oh. Uh, I'm running I'm running a gigabyte. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, it is. <laughs> so I, I think we lost uh, David Zawoski. He's not, he's not doing anything. Oh, there it is. He's doing something, but I'm not sure what he's doing. <clears throat> no, no, David. That's a nice signals. Beautiful model. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think this is working, is it? No, not, not very well. I, it's probably the bandwidth problem. Mm. Oh, wow. No, no, no. This is this this thing that he's using is just a di different way of navigating. Is that what it's all about? The 3D mouse. Bring up your. Uh, do you still have your? Uh, you... I, it might be better just to have a look at their website. They've probably got demos there. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, go to 3D Connection. You can see them. They, they have all kinds of different. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do 3D. Can I'll, I'll look at it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. From, from what I've seen, once you get good at it, it, it's almost smooth enough to record a walkthrough with it. Wow. Yeah, you can do walkthroughs oh, and all that. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. yes I can hear you. Oh, okay. 
um, I clicked on something here. I went from computer audio to turn that off. And I, I'm, I'm actually using my iPad to talk to you guys while I'm on my desktop. But no, yeah, it's a I'm ending this recording. I'm ending this recording. Do you have like? You're amending. Recording.